How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. So I'm still very confused about what to do. So what I have going on right now is I actually have a walkthrough in front of me. Um, I'm going to try to avoid spoilers on it as much as I can because I don't know much about this game. Uh, I mean, there was spirits. I remember saying void these. I think I accidentally read the first one. Let's intentionally read this one. What happens? When held in the palm of my hand a piece of a person's body. Ew. A piece of a person who was living and breathing only a short while ago. This body part used to be attached to her head. And now, I'm walking around the school with it. I had no idea eyeballs were so heavy. I just keep squishing it in the palm. So it's like a, what, a stress ball to you? That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Last time we found out, don't interact with the spirit uh are you a boy or a girl you look like either or okay so where am i supposed to go 1a all right actually can't i just use the crowbar on this the door has been nailed shut and is unlikely to open not allow any person to enter. It's a nail puller. Why can't I pull the nails? Dude, you're an idiot. Pull the damn nails. Wow. Wow. Am I just dumb? Do I not know how to use an item or something? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to use an item. What's this? Nah, here's victim. I ate my friend today. Ew. What else was I supposed to do? I was starving. Both were. There's no food here. So we decided together. That one of us should try to live just a little bit longer. If I ever get home, I'm supposed to tell all the people waiting for us what happened. We left it all up to a game of paper, scissors, rock. Ah, uh, you mean rock, paper, scissors? Loser eats winner. And I lost. I felt her blood going down my throat, quenching my thirst. And her meat was supple and satisfying. That's disgusting. That blood and that meat was once my friend, up until just a few hours ago. I've been talking with her. As I feasted, I just kept thinking, this food used to be a person. Before I tore it apart, it all worked together to sustain a life. And every time I thought about that, I just started crying. I couldn't stop. Didn't I already read this? I'm pretty sure I've already read this, actually. Okay, bye. So, 1A. Where the hell is 1A? Can't go in there. And then this is... There's a hastily written note on the ground. Its writers seem to have struggled with it, as the lettering is inconsistent and difficult to read. Why, sister? It hurts. It hurts. After I die, the pain will continue forever. No! No, 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 no! Sis, you lied to me. You're going to leave me behind, aren't you? I will never forgive you. Alright, note to self, leave that little lady alone. At least she's not killing me. Ah! You're right there. Okay. Okay. Alright. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bye. What is this? Oh, I've read this. Never mind. Where is 1A? I'm assuming it's up the stairs. The only thing I'm confused about, like, I'm looking, I looked at the walkthrough and it said, pull a trigger? What trigger? 
Don't switch. This one, eh? From the windows, only a deep, immutable darkness can be seen. Cool. Is this one A? Hello? Notice. Doesn't even mention. Is there a switch anywhere in here? 197, blank, 1970-something. On September 18th. The door is nailed shut. And the nails are hammered in tight. Not going to open, though, through any normal means. Use the nail puller. Finally! Frickin' yes. Both successful in loosening every nail and opening the door. The rusty old nail puller broke. Great! Where am I? There's a piece of scrap paper pinned to the wall. You notice dark spots dotting the page and realize they're tear stains. Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwells in the hearts of man may be stuck forever in a loop. For in this world, there are some truths that simply must be known, no matter how disturbing. But curiosity did something. Beware the messages of the dead, for there be curses among them. What is this, a pirate's note? Beware the messages of the dead, for there be curses among them. Curses that ye can crush. I don't know. Can crush even the strongest wills. Demolishing all semblance of reason. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let your curiosity get the better of you. Do not read the victim's memoirs to their conclusion. Um, I'm assuming that's a victim's... I've heard that like three times. Why does it say that? appears to be a control mechanism of some sort, of elaborate pulley system, rigged up with a network of fine, virtually transparent threads. There's a lever jutting out from one side. Pull it. Sure! Is that where that spirit was? You know what? I'm going to do the opposite of what it says. I've been searching every last corner of this school building, trying to find a way of escaping with her. But it's not happening. No matter how much we struggle, only further misery awaits us. I'm so unbearably thirsty. So hungry that it feels like my stomach is eating itself. Every moment it gets worse. Look at big black mass in front of me. That's slowly closing in. Can't keep ignoring it. I've started talking to the eyeball in my hand to help stay focused and maintain my sanity. Well, stop looking at me like that. I swear I'll find us a way out of here. I have to make sure I tell your family what you did for me. I don't like where this is going. Maybe I should stop reading it. I wonder, can you actually save everyone if you don't read any of the memoirs? That's probably why my character died in the blight. Wasn't this locked up? Oh, no, it's this one. Okay, never mind. Hurrah! Uh, I, okay, it's this. I can't do anything. I'm 
pretty sure that's where Teach is, though. How am I supposed to find her? The game doesn't exactly let me do anything. Or is that the point? Yumi. Oh, boy. Silence again. That's never good. Okay, hi, buddy. Hi, hi, friend. Nope. Where did this guy come from in the first place? He's probably stuck now. Here? Yeah. Holy's gonna be in here. Shut up! Shut up! Pull the pulley! Oh, I see what's going on. It's making more and more areas accessible. Seriously? Dude! Dude, that's a dick move. That, how are you supposed to get out of that? Okay, take two. Come here. Come here. Ah! Oh my gosh. Ooh, Ooh juke moves. Juke moves. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Can we lock the door on him or something? Nope. Dude. Stay in your place. Hold still. Okay. I don't remember. Where was that other location? Right here. It was right here. What? Oh, hey, doorway. Okay. That sucked. That. That. The precision on that was. What's wrong? Need to stop for a minute? No. I just thought this seemed like a good spot for another candle. No objections, I assume? Oh. Might as well. Go ahead. What's in here? This is the infirmary, right? This is the infirmary, yes. Um... Vast quantities of medicine and tonics, blah, blah. It's the same dialogue as before, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Ew. Okay, enough of how to remove a tongue. Let's, uh, go. We're still looking for teach, right? That was our... Where's the blood that was supposed to be splattered against... Science lab. The drawer seems to be affixed to the wall like a model. Shoot. Huh? Hello. What up here? I don't like that sound. You guys can faintly hear it, but it's, I still don't like the sound. Ah, jeez. Hello, women's bathroom. What is it? What's this? Ah. Uh, seems stained. Oh, with what? Almost looks like a person. Somebody 
Somebody died here. I can hear her voice. No. No, please. Don't. What's wrong? Hey, sorry. What the hell? Hello? Psycho, is that you? Oh no. Oh no. He said it already. Damn it all. What the hell is going on here? I'm not even in control at this point. Uh. Shinazaki? You alright? Person taking over Shinozaki's body. Can I have Shinozaki back, please? Bring me more. You'll do whatever I ask of you. What the? Uh, I don't care if you're innocent. You're listed as buried alive, aren't you? They're mine. I'm sure as hell not sharing with the likes of you. Ah. Uh. Hina is a real pain in the ass, too. You know? Have some pity. What's up? Um... You have no idea what you just said, do you? Oh, crap. I'm not gonna be mean. Fight it! really hurt. I believed in you. Why doesn't anybody listen to me? Uh... What the hell are you talking about? I don't understand a single word you're saying. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Um, God damn it. Why do I feel like it's a bad idea to go near her? Temp save first. You me? Ayumi is staring at you as if transfixed with an unnatural wi a naturally wide smile stretch across her face. Why do I feel like I chose the wrong decision? Stop! Bye 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 bye. What the hell is this? That poor girl. She's lost her mind, and she'll never get it back. Possession is a frightful thing. To have your thoughts pushed deep down into the pit of your soul, and someone else's take their place? Ayumi? I feel 
like this is a stupid idea, but uh, nothing, nothing, and nada. Okay. I'm surprised she's not even trying to hurt me. What the hell? The stall is pitch black inside. Yeah, they're all basically the same. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Why is this happening to us? You beat me, dude. Kishinuma! Kishinuma! Crap. What's all the smoke I see? Get the hell out of that stall right this instant. Huh? Eating the tobacco again, were we? Uh, well, no, sir. Didn't I warn you what would happen if I caught you smoking again? Expulsion. That's what. I'm sorry. You're a real problem child, you know that? Why do you even come to school in the first place? Disowned by your parents, living on your own, got no friends, you never go to class. Just because you hate school doesn't give you the right to throw fits and raise a ruckus all the time, mister. You're cleverly not having any friends here. You're cleverly not having any fun here. Not friends. Right? So why you... You're clearly, not cleverly. I can't speak. You're clearly not having any fun here, right? So why don't you just drop out? really don't get it. It's not like you're trying to get into college. With your home li with your home life as it is, the thought probably hasn't even crossed your mind. Uh-huh. Wish I could ask your parents what they think of having a no-good kid like- Oh, jeez! Shut up, dude. You're gonna get yourself beat by him. But they've never once shown their faces around here. Not since the very first parent-teacher conferences we ever held. Wonder if they'd be embarrassed. <laughs> My parents are not exactly proud of me, shall we say. Eh, that's not what I mean. I'm thinking of the big picture here. They're clearly just not good parents. If I had kids of my own, you'd better believe I wouldn't be half as lax with them as yours obviously are with you. The problem is, people are having kids when they're way too young. Eh. Before they've become proper adults, they're popping out babies of their own. Bad parents raise bad kids. Okay, that line at least is true. That's why there are so many brats like you in this world. Mm, he's right about one thing. There's no reason for me to stay in this school. It really is pointless. You should just beat the crap out of this jackass. Then drop out. You can get arrested for that, can't you? It's Japan, so I don't know how it works. People think as long as they pay school taxes or tuition, they're good mommies and daddies. Well, newsflash, they're not. What's with that look? I've never hit a teacher before. Oh well, first time for everything. Mr. Subota? Huh? Well, if it isn't the class rep, what's up? The vice principal is looking for you. You're needed back at the staff room. Gotcha. Thanks. Hmm? Shizaki, you've got great eyes. You know that? Always so clear and focused. Jackass. We instructors like your kind best of all. If you ever have a problem, come talk to me about it, okay? <laughs> no! 
You probably caught him in the act. That guy's the worst. Thanks. You're not really any better. Huh? You were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? What a sad fate it would be to get kicked out of school over a pathetic excuse for a teacher like him. You'd regret it later. You know you would. No matter how much of a pain in the ass it may be, and no matter how you think it'll turn out in the end, just stay in school, man. Bite your tongue and make it to graduation. Honestly. Why are you crying? Uh, sorry. Whenever I give an impassioned speech like that, I always find myself tearing up a little. You're Kishinuma for class 1-5, right? Yeah. I'm Shinazaki, from class 1-3. Sorry to have butt in like that. Uh, don't worry about it. Later! Hey, when you told him the vice principal was calling... <laughs> I was lying, of course. That, okay, that, good. Mischievous little girl. Oh boy. Never actually thanked her for what she did that day. For crying on my behalf. And I swore to myself, as soon as I realized we were trapped here, that I'd protect her, no matter what happens. What? This must be a test. See if I really meant that, no matter what happens, heart. Um... Why the hell are you doing this? Answer me! Please, come back to me, Shinozaki. We're going to find all our classmates and get out of this horrible place, okay? There's no reason. No reason for you to stay like this. So, warm. Kishinuma? Where? What? Shizaki, you're... I just got... Yeah. Ow! Is it you? Are you back? Huh? What? Do you... So, what you're saying, yeah, so far, all the courses we've found in here have been people we've never met. That stain was left behind by someone really close to us, someone whose mind was completely filled with the pain and agony of death. The next thing I knew, I was in your arms. You were squeezing the life out of me. Didn't she just say hugging? Someone close to us, huh? I really hope that just... This once. Your intuition is wrong. <laughs> but I could feel all her pain. It was freezing cold. Except, my throat was so hot. It felt like it was on fire. And then I avoided my bowels. Everything went dark. No matter how hard I struggled, my arms and my legs just wouldn't wanted to yell out, help me. I had no voice. I was scared. And the pain was so excruciating. Yeah, longer episode, called it. Calm down, Shinozaki. It wasn't you. You're still alive. I know. Well, we searched the whole building. This Yui really is nowhere to be found. Maybe we should head back to the classroom? Yeah, that's probably best. 
no Satoshi or the others, though, either. It's kind of weird to think about. All right, well, we'll head back next time. I extended this long enough, so thank you guys so much for watching this episode of uh, Corpse Party. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button. It's so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I have a suggestion for a horror game you'd like to see on here. Let me know in the comments below. Want to check out one that we've done prior to this? Click the link in the bottom right-hand corner in the train to take you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops on this ride, click the link across my head here and the train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!